Hi, I'm Craig Mueller, Public Works Engineer with the City of Bellingham. Over the summer, this area near Old Fairhaven Parkway was the site of a significant construction project to build a new stream channel for Padden Creek. The project creates nearly a half mile of new habitat for salmon, birds, and other wildlife, improves water quality, and restores a section of the creek that has been hidden for over a century. In the late 1800s, Padden Creek was diverted into an underground tunnel to drain wetlands in Happy Valley. The tunnel, with a length of nearly one half mile, increased potential for flooding and acted as a barrier to salmon, trout, and steelhead moving upstream. This summer, the creek was rerouted out of the tunnel and into a new open channel. This major effort to restore habitat represents years of hard work and dedication by city staff and the community to bring this urban stream corridor back to life. The new channel begins near 22nd Street where the creek has been rerouted out of the old tunnel and into the open channel. The old tunnel will remain in place for stormwater overflow, but with a modified inlet and outlet to prevent fish from entering. From the inlet, the creek passes under 22nd Street through a new fish-friendly culvert. The culvert is substantially larger than the old tunnel, reducing flood risks and allowing fish passage to over a mile of newly accessible upstream habitat. The creek continues alongside Old Fairhaven Parkway until it reaches the bridge constructed in 2013 by the Washington State Department of Transportation. Here the creek channel goes under the parkway and continues on the south side of the road. At the Rotary Trailhead parking lot near the Interurban Trail, an 80-foot long pedestrian bridge replaces the former trail connection. The new bridge spans Padden Creek and allows access to the Interurban Trail without disturbing the fish and other wildlife. Padden Creek flows under the bridge and continues parallel to the Interurban Trail until it connects with the existing channel near 17th Street in Fairhaven Park. The stream continues west and into Bellingham Bay. Large sections of the newly restored creek weave past existing houses. The city of Bellingham worked closely with nearby neighbors whose support and cooperation was key to securing a healthy and safe path for Padden Creek. As part of the restoration, large logs and woody debris were added to the channel. These structures provide natural erosion protection and increase fish habitat. Over time, Vegetation along the creek will fill in with deep root systems that provide strong and stable creek banks. There are several places along the creek to look for salmon and trout, including the footbridge in Fairhaven Park, the bridge on Old Fairhaven Parkway, and the newly updated footbridge near the Rotary Trailhead parking lot. If you do see salmon in the creek, it's important to stay out of the stream and to avoid disturbing the fish. Also, please keep dogs on a leash and out of the creek so they don't disrupt the gravel beds where salmon lay their eggs. As part of the restoration, the Public Works sponsored Washington Conservation Corps crews will revegetate the new streamside habitat with native trees and shrubs. They will remove invasive species and provide the ongoing maintenance needed to help the plantings thrive. Ongoing maintenance of the plantings is key to ensure the site matures into a healthy habitat. Over time, the vegetation along the creek will mature, creating a thriving open ecosystem for fish and wildlife and for all of us to enjoy. The cost of the construction phase was $2.8 million. The project was funded by the city's storm and surface water utility in combination with a Department of Ecology Centennial Clean Water Grant and a low interest loan from the State Clean Water Revolving Fund. This is a project of the City of Bellingham's Public Works Natural Resources Division. For more information, visit www.cob.org and search for Padden Creek Daylighting.